Hello, I want to introduce this presentation about six core ads within six minutes propose the COVID-19 classification. Based on a lot of suggestions from my close friends. So let's start. The learning from this presentation is to classify core ads from one to six according to the possibility of diagnosis of COVID-19. Core ads meaning a COVID-19 reporting and data system which she published in 25 March 2020 by Netherlands radiologist. So, CORADS 1 meaning COVID-19 is highly unlikely. If one of these situations or happens, we consider it a CORADS 1. If CT is normal, if there are non-infectious disease like congestive heart failure, sarcoids with bilateral higher lymph adenomacy, histoplasmosis with eggshell calcification, lymph nodes, Lignancy with mass in the lung, usual interstitial pneumonia, or fibrotic non specific interstitial pneumonia, which is non changed from the prior examination. As we see here, this is a normal HRCT, which is considered as a core ads one. Uh, in uh, February uh, 26, uh, 2020, there are uh, one study done in Wuhan in more than 1,000 people, and there are 21 patients from this. Have positive uh, RT PCRs, uh, although there are negative CT findings, meaning normal CT. And so it classifies as co reds, which meaning unlikely, highly unlikely. However, still there are possibility for diagnosis of COVID 19 with this highly unlikely. The next is co reds 2, which meaning COVID 19 is low. If there are typical bronchiolitis, three in bad or central granules, uh, thickening bronchial wool, uh, semi luber consolidations, we consider it as a core ads to meaning COVID 19 is low. As this patient of but appearance, uh, uh, which considers as core ads to the suspected of COVID 19 is low. Uh, if there are one of these findings in the nodular obesity, like these central liberal or peripronchovascular nodules in sarcoids, or these multiple uh, nodules with random distributions, we consider it also as a core ads And these are the differential diagnosis of the nodular obesity in the lung. I have one presentation in my channel by talking in details about these nodules and how can differentiate these. If you are interested, you can link uh, look at the link. Uh, these are considered as core ads too and the low possibility of COVID-19. Patient is 35 years old female, presenting with cough. Uh, there are multifocal areas of consolidations and the three in bad appearance. And this is three in bad appearance, making it classified as CORADS2, low suspicious of COVID-19. CORADS3, meaning COVID-19, unsure or indeterminate. If there are central or multifocal consolidations with surrounding ground glass obesity, or unifocal ground glass obesity, Widespread bronchopneumonia, lumbar pneumonia, and septic emboli are considered also as a core 3 unsure or indeterminate COVID-19 diagnosis. As a patient of 37-year-old man patient with multiple areas of consolidation surrounded by ground glass uh, obesities and they are classified as core 3 COVID-19 is unsure or indeterminate and it's positive negative for COVID-19. Uh, uh, in the laboratory test. Next is the core ads for COVID-19 is high. If the CT findings are not extremely typical, like unifocal, unilateral ground glass area or patchy, multifocal consolidations, finding the suspicious of COVID-19 in underlying pulmonary disease, these are situations considering it classified as core ads for. As a patient with patch area of ground glass obesity, which are classified as CORADS4, high suspected diagnosis of COVID-19, which confirmed by PCR as positive. The next is CORADS5. COVID-19 is very high. The findings are typical for diagnosis of COVID-19 by HRCT. If there are multifocal ground glass obesity or consolidation, bilateral multifocal ground glass obesity with unsharp demarcation. Vascular thickening, subpleural band, spider webs, crazy behaving, or reversed halocyanes, or these are typical 
filing in CT for diagnosis of COVID-19 and suspect is very high and uh, classified as Corel's five. As a patient 45 years old with multifocal areas of consolidation, ground glass obesity, and basal consolidations, and classified as COVID-19, Corel's five, COVID-19 is very high suspected, and it's also confirmed by laboratory test as positive for COVID-19 pneumonia. Next is the CORAD-6, which patient is confirmed with COVID-19 and they make follow-up studies. As that patient had uh, admissions for March 2020, with multifocal areas of ground glass obesity distributed subpleural and basal consolidations with subpleural lines and spider webs vascular thickening, these are typical features of CORADS. So CORADS-5 is classified and the CORADS-5 patient are positive for, after that the patient was positive for COVID-19. In follow-up study in 15 March, uh, there are areas of ground glass obesity and the consolidation also noted. However, because we know that patient have positive COVID-19, we classified it as CORADS-6. Let me summarize and use my presentation. CORADS are level of suspicious of COVID-19 infections are classified from one to six according highly unlikely to intermediate high or very high positive PCR COVID-19 diagnosis according to the CT findings as we mentioned along with the presentation. As there is no action plan after the CORADS, so some people think that CORADS does not offer a real solution to the problem. However, for me, as a radiologist, not pathologist, it is okay for giving suspected diagnosis as we do in most of our radiological examination. Thank you and have a nice day.